Okay, so I'm happy you, you're going to learn uh, transesophageal echo. It's a very good, uh, nice examination in cardiology, but you have to know a few things before you start. Yes, definitely. So uh, before we actually start uh, details, uh, can you just uh, uh, name the main indications which uh, uh, will make you do this study in the future? So, for instance, we have to remember the main indications of transesophageal echo. So, it is, for example, um, assessment of left atrial appendage, um, assessment of some uh, valve diseases like mitral valve, aortic valve, and indication for structural heart diseases such as uh, PFO or ASD. And maybe if you cannot see properly in a regular transthoracic echo. Yeah, so, so then you have to do something because you cannot make clinical decisions, specifically on the intensive care when, when the patient is intubated, you, you don't have good acoustic windows to do a transthoracic study, then frequently we use it. Of course, also during the monitoring of uh, structural heart interventions or cardiac surgery interventions. Um, recently also the valves that are, we are interested in is the tricuspid valve, but also pulmonary valve, depending on the uh, procedures or, or um, uh, treatments that you're going to use. But uh, of course there are also contraindications, right? Because uh, this, we can call it semi-invasive study, because we have to insert the probe, which is that thick, right, into the esophagus. So you may imagine that we may uh, damage teeth, we, we may damage the larynx, pharynx, we can intubate trachea instead of esophagus, we can perforate esophagus, uh, or even uh, ulcers in the stomach if you go very deep and the patient has a risk of perforation or, or bleeding. So we have to be very careful. And that's why uh, we have to know very well the problems that we may encounter. encounter. As you can see here, uh, all types of injuries may happen. Also, when you insert the probe, you may uh, have troubles with the uh, probe which is penetrating the wrong direction, as you can see here, uh, or as I said, penetrating the larynx. So you have to lead the probe on the posterior wall of the pharynx to go directly to the esophagus. And whenever you see resistance, you should not force it uh, uh, because you can damage something inside. And also, it is even possible that you may create a loop in the esophagus if you uh, see how much the probe is bending during the examination. You can really make a loop that will a hook, which will, will be there. So you have to be very careful as well. Uh, overall, the, the number of complications is low, provided you really do proper things. I mean, you don't do studies in people who have contraindications. And here you can see what kind of contraindications are absolute or relative. Uh, it's uh, written in the publication, so you will have to learn it yourself.